everyone, today we're talking about MIDI channels. Now, don't be daunted. This is really quite simple. MIDI synthesizers can often respond to a number of different input channels. For instance, the general MIDI synthesizer, which is bundled with Harrison Mixbus and Mixbus 32C, can play back 16 different channels of MIDI at once. You can assign different instruments to each of those channels and change parameters specifically on each of those channels. So let's go and see how this works and how we can use 16 different MIDI inputs with only one synthesizer. So I have a cue set up in Harrison Mixbus. Let's have a quick listen. Okay, so it's a pretty simple setup. Let's have a look at the mixer window though. What you'll notice here in the mixer window is that these MIDI tracks that we see here, piano, bass, guitar, guitar two, etc., um, they don't actually have a MIDI plugin associated with them. Instead, we have a MIDI bus here, which is uh, called uh, Sampler. And that just has one instance of my sampler plugin. So this sampler plugin is actually producing all the individual sounds. Now you'll see that if I run through the track. So as you can see, um, the uh, sounds are all coming out of one plugin. Now why might I do this? Well, it's really primarily about CPU usage, but also it's nice to have all of these sounds close to each other in one plugin because I can dip in and out of them and tweak them. Uh, there are loads of different parameters that I can change in this particular sampler plugin. Um, so this same thing applies to all sorts of uh, MIDI applications. If you're using an external keyboard, you'll want to use just one keyboard, perhaps for many different sounds. Sounds. If uh, you're using external MIDI modules, the same applies, uh, and so on. So really, there are two things at play here. We want to root all of these MIDI notes to that one MIDI bus into that one sampler plugin. But we also want to make sure we can identify which MIDI notes are coming from which tracks and so how they will be played back on which instrument. So for instance, we need to know that the notes of this piano track are going to be played back on the piano instruments. We need to know the bass notes are going to be played back on the bass notes instruments, even though they're all being merged into one. We do this with MIDI channels. Yes, the MIDI notes have a channel associated with them. So the first stage is how are we going to route all of this MIDI data to that individual MIDI bus to go into that sampler? Well, we simply go window MIDI connections and a MIDI connections manager window pops up. It looks complicated, but don't worry. It's really very simple. We see our sources available on the vertical axis and across the horizontal axis, we have our destinations. So I'm gonna make sure I have chosen Mixbus tracks uh, as my sources and Mixbus buses as my destination because I want to send all of the track data out of the tracks to that first MIDI bus. Now, when I have that selected, you'll see a range of green spots. It's really as simple as going across from piano out, checking there's a green spot, moving down and seeing that it's going into sampler in. The same applies for the bass, the same applies for the guitar, guitar, melody, percussion and drums. So it's um, a very simple process. Just make sure your green spots are where they should be. So now we've got all of these MIDI notes routing to that single MIDI bus, how do we make sure that those notes are identified as the correct instruments? Well, if we go into our sampler bus and look at the plugin, we can actually zoom in and have a look at the individual channels that the sampler is responding to. So in this case, I have MIDI channel one uh, playing back a Mark II classic Rhodes piano style sample. I've got pop bass on uh, channel two. Of course, channel 10 is reserved for drum kits. Uh, so I've used channel 10 and 11 for drums and additional percussion. So our MIDI plugin knows which channels to play back with which sounds, but how do we assign those channels to our MIDI data coming in? Well, 
Let's take the piano track, for example. If we right click on this area in the edit window and choose channel selector, a window pops up. Now, don't be daunted. There's lots here as well, but really all we need to look at is this playback section at the bottom. We need to click use a single fixed channel for all playback and select number one. So let's have a look at what would happen if we selected a different channel for this piano track. We're on piano. But let's move to bass. Yeah, we get the sound of a bass. Let's move to number three, which I think is a guitar. Yeah, number four, which is a nylon guitar. So as you can see, it's really simple to use multiple MIDI tracks to feed a single synthesizer or sampler plugin that could have a high CPU overhead. So if you want to know more about MIDI in Harrison Mixbus and Mixbus 32C, get yourselves over to harrisonconsoles.com, check out the free demo, check out the online manual and all the excellent resources there. And I will see you all next time.